everybody, it's Trisha Lee. Look at my friends here coming running up to see me. Awesome. See what I mean? These horses are so friendly. These big Clydesdales. They're like, hello, we're coming to say hi. My horse, my light horse, he's a, a quarter horse, I believe, and um, I have to chase him around the field. I think because he knows I'm gonna ride him. But I bring him treats too, so you think he'd come running up looking for treats, but he doesn't. He, uh, but uh, he's uh, not as um, friendly as these big heavy horses. I was saying before in my other video that these horses were bred for battle in uh, old timey wars in the Middle Ages, and so they are uh, super aggressively friendly, aren't you? And um, a lot of the lighter horses, they're actually uh, a lot more intimidated by people and they spook with loud noises and stuff. Anyway, these are our younger babies. I was just out here uh, a little bit earlier uh, moving some of the older foals into the barn to be shown. And that these foals here will also uh, be separated from their moms uh, as they get a little bigger in the next couple months. And I discovered why. Um, I guess uh, naturally horses will um, continue to nurse their foals until they pretty much have the next foal uh, in the spring. So um, because these horses aren't in the wild where they get to have a fully natural diet, where they get to uh, pick what um, is best and most nutritious from them out of a uh, pasture on free range uh, because they're subject to our baled hay and alfalfa grasses and timothy grasses and stuff that we give them that um, don't always have the same quality as what they would get on free range. Um, we wean all the foals um, in about four or five months in order that um, the mothers stay healthy for the breed uh, when they have their next foal. What will happen is if these little guys continue to nurse and take milk from the mom they'll get skinny and then it reduces the chance of them having a healthy foal in the spring uh, because their feed is a little bit deficient uh, compared to what they would be able to secure themselves in the wild. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Uh, I just learned that. So I just, uh, when we were loading up horses and I was asking why they all have to be weaned because uh, I, thought, I thought, well, wouldn't the mothers just wean them themselves and decide that, hey, little baby, you've had enough and kick them away? they won't do that until they have their next baby. They'll let them just keep nursing. So uh, in order to ensure the next batch of babies are healthy ones, uh, we wean them out here. So we just moved a couple of foals into the barn and we put their mares out in the other pasture and these are some of the babies that are left to the mummies. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my video. My little interesting fact that I just learned today about uh, uh, herd management and horse care. So I'm so happy to be able to uh, have this opportunity to share uh, all the things that I'm learning as I mentor out here on this ranch and learn all about horses and how to manage a herd and um, have my own ranch in the very near future. So yeah, super exciting. Um, I absolutely love this lifestyle and I'm so happy to be living it. Uh, I feel just full of joy and excited to be alive each and every day. I jump out of bed at the crack of dawn excited for getting to be here. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand anybody that wouldn't be excited to being out here surrounded by these awesome animals that have served humans throughout history so well, so phenomenally well. Um, I can't imagine why anyone wouldn't be out here. If I do know people that aren't uh, animal lovers, <laughs> can you imagine? But anyway, um, before uh, I started coming out here full time, I actually felt exhausted and frustrated. And even though I had finally um, fulfilled the lifelong dream of owning my own horse uh, to ride, I hardly ever got to ride that horse because um, I was too busy working and chasing money and um, I was just exhausted. So I would ride my horse about once a week if I was lucky, if I, I found the time. 
And now I actually have the opportunity to come here and ride my horse every single day for as long as I want. And it's all thanks to what I found with uh, Project AWOL's training and system on the internet. Um, AWOL stands for another way of life and they teach you how to design your life so that you transform from someone who was like me, exhausted and miserable and kind of hating life, to someone who is like I am now, who is joyfully loving every single moment. Not every single moment, but when I'm out here, I'm loving every single moment. Sometimes I go home and get into a, a trouble with that. <laughs> Some of this uh, frustrations and situations of everyday life but when I'm out here I am definitely super joyful and grateful and just happy to be here and it's all thanks to Project Daywall that I've been able to free up my time and my finances in order to uh, come here and enjoy this lifestyle that I love so if uh, you're not living your life <laughs> to the fullest or you feel like you're exhausted and frustrated and you're not waking up in the morning jumping out of bed excited for what the day has to bring then I really recommend that you check out Project Daywall there will be a link somewhere around this video to uh, click on to get more information about uh, another way of life and how to live it I want you to uh, experience what I've experienced uh, it's an amazing system uh, it's pretty much foolproof so uh, check it out thanks so much for watching uh, if I don't see you in the future, I will see you out here in the pasture with some of my cute, cute friends. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, go out there and make it a great day, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching.